Sister Wig Lover, this is Heather from SisterWigs.com and today I'm bringing you a review of the Mariska wig. This is the average cap size version of Mariska that was released as part of John Renault's Favorites Collection 2018 and the color is 8RH14. This is a great brunette, sort of ashy. I've done color spotlight videos of this one, so be sure to check it out. I even compare it to the 10RH16 if you're curious about the difference between the two of those. They're very similar. This is such a cool thing that they're doing over at John Renault because there are so many people who are sort of in between cap sizes or you know they're all the way on the extremes and they need some wig love too. They need options. I'm so happy that they've released Mariska as an average cap size wig. She's really cute on. I'm gonna go ahead and do a 360 so you can see what she looks like on all sides. She's sort of a pixie in the back. I don't know, reminds me of like, totally hair Ken a little bit, <laughs> but I love it. <laughs> I love it, you know? It's very 90s and I love every bit of it. It's so cute. Okay, so I'm gonna stop playing with it and just sort of do my little turn, but I think this would make a really fun unisex piece. Let me show you that lace front. It's a really, John, John Renault has very good lace fronts. I like how they start off a little bit sparse in the front and they get thicker as you get back. And the part is quite good on this as well. I'll show it to you a little bit closer up when I take the wig off. In fact, let me go ahead and do that now. Mariska Average and the Mariska Petite. They both are 100% hand-tied wigs. Jean Renault makes exquisitely done hand-tied caps. Tony of Beverly also makes really beautiful hand-tied caps. Um, so those are two brands I highly recommend if that's your sort of thing. We've got nice extended felt nape with Velcro adjusters in the back. We've also got closed felt here on the ear tabs as well as elastic on either side that you can use to let the wig in or out and give it a little bit of stretch. Um, this is covered with a very nice mesh material to protect the elastic. I love the edges, the little finishes that they have. Like, look, look how cleanly cut that lace front is. It's just great. I'm gonna mess Mariska up a little bit. This fits very comfortably on, but with the shaved head, things tend to fit a lot better just general rule of thumb. Um, I've heard one person refer to it as nature's Velcro and I'm so stealing that whoever came up with it because it's genius. So whoever that is, gold star hearts for you because that's a great turn of phrase. It is, it's like nature's Velcro. This wig is not going anywhere and I don't have a wig grip on or anything. And it's so funny, my, my husband actually likes shaving my head. We, we actually took a video of that and put it on our Facebook page. We did Facebook Live. We might do it again because it's kind of fun. The layering is crazy. This is a ton of hair, by the way, on top. This has a ton of hair. And yes, it will definitely settle. Um, the hair will definitely settle into place and it won't be quite this voluminous once you wash her and wear her a little bit, those, those knots will naturally start to pivot and they'll just kind of train to pivot in one direction over another, basically. And when that happens with gravity and time, she might look a little bit more like this, kind of flat. But I mean, she's still cute. And just, just so you know, if you have that problem, I think that a good thing to do if you want the volume to kind of stay intact is when you wash your wigs, hang them upside down to dry. Okay, hang them upside down. That's why I have these wig mates and I sell them on my website. And let me, let me actually see if I can find one. I had to run all the way downstairs to get this. So forgive me if I'm a little winded. Um, this is a wig mate and I use these, I hang them. This one is on the back of my bedroom door and I hang my wigs upside down with it. Um, because I don't want to stretch this wig out. I'm just, I mean, look how, how that stays. And it's not really hooking into it or anything. It's really gentle. It's got like these little prongy things, but they're not sharp. And if you put them right under the nape, the wig just sort of stays in place. And you can hang that in your shower. You can hang that uh, from your bedroom door, which is what I do. 
but you hang it upside down and then you just spray it with some hairspray. This is Beltrus holding spray. It's got a stiffer hold to it than, you know, the John Renault or comparable. And you just spray, 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 <laughs> you know, and it's best to do it um, where you want the volume. Don't feel the need to grind it into the knots because you don't want to loosen the knots, but just gently use your hands to sort of fluff it. I'm not even touching the monofilament when I do this, okay? I don't want to gunk up this wig because I'm not keeping it, so that's why I didn't actually spray it. But you would do this exact same motion that I'm doing. Let that dry, so just kind of let it sit on the wig mate. Walk off, make breakfast, whatever. By the time you're ready to walk out the door, she's already way fluffier. And then you can style her. She looks so fun off the, off the face like this. You know, pretend the wind's blowing. I'm gonna storm or something, <laughs> you know? I fall into the dryer, spin cycle. Um, no, like, it still looks cute. Like, I I'm having difficulty messing this one up. So look at it, it, it still looks cute. <laughs> so I'm so glad that they started making this in an average cap size. It's, it's a great piece. The lace and the monofilament features are fantastically done. Just gorgeous, just a great short piece. And I think this would make a really fun unisex wig. And I mean, the styling options are really great. I mean, you can see that no matter how I manipulate the hair, it still sort of looks amazing. <laughs> I love wigs like this. They're so easy. Oh, before I forget, because I'm so busy playing with this wig, um, the bang is 5.5 inches, so definitely is meant to be swept off to the side. It gives it great height when you can get it to stay up. That's pretty cool. Crown down is 6.25, so you know, it's very layered all over the place. The side's shortest side layer is three, so it's got a lot of this sort of great, almost like feathering on the sides, and the nape is only 2.5 inches, so. Mariska is quite short in the back. So I would recommend if you decide to keep this one that you cut out the tag um, or, you know, take a needle and thread and make sure you sew the tag into place with like a single stitch or something like that. So that way you don't have to worry about it kind of, see what I mean? You don't want to do that to yourself. So <laughs> when the nape is this short, if you really like the wig and you decide to keep it, do something about that tag before you wear her out. That's about all she wrote. This is a great wig and Mariska Petit also gets rave reviews. They're both wonderful styles, but you have to like a lot of volume on the top and you have to be comfortable with the fact that this has a lot of hair because I've got a bigger frame. I'm 5'8", and I currently weigh about 206 pounds. Um, but, you know, I've got a big bone structure, you know, even though I'm losing weight. The website is brand new. Be sure to check it out. Um, let us know what you think. Very eager to know um, what your feedback is. And uh, until next time, have a great night, everybody. Bye-bye.